And hello everyone and welcome back once again to Final Fantasy IX on the PlayStation 4. I'm your host, Nicky Namus Kane, and this is the PS1 Classic that has been somewhat upscaled and put on the PlayStation 4. Uh, we've been kind of playing through it. We have just had the worst luck in the world. We had Zidane and Vivi die a couple episodes back. And we found out we did not have any Phoenix Downs to be able to resurrect them. So we have spent the entirety of the last episode going through this ice cavern trying to find a Phoenix Down that we can revive Vivi with. And we still haven't found it yet. I'm hoping that it's in one of these chests up here. Because this is just... This is getting... This is getting ridiculous. Hopefully it's in this one. <laughs> oh my god, it's a miracle. Oh man, I can't believe that that took forever. I... Unreal. Let's do, um... I don't know if I want to do a lecture or not. No, I don't want to do a lecture. We'll just do potions. Potions all the way around. Everybody gets a potion. You get a potion. You get a potion. Everyone gets a potion. I, man, he is four levels back. That is how long it's taken us to find. <laughs> to be able to find the... the uh, to find a phoenix down for him. Oh, man. That's nuts. I want to go back out and save now. I mean, that's that's how crazy this has become. Unbelievable. What's in here? Huh? What's this? Of course, if you watched last episode, you know that Vivi comes up here, hits it with fire. Oh, there's a pathway. And usually it leads to another treasure chest, which we should have one right down here. Of course, I had to fight somebody first. But now that we get, now that we have Vivi back, we don't have to worry so much about fighting people anymore. Well, especially not these things. These things are pushover. <sighs> Hell, at this point, I uh, I almost wonder if well, he's got six, and we we do have enough. But we do have enough uh, ethers if we have to that we can. We should be able to get through this all right. Kill it! Kill it with fire! See? See how nice that is? That's that's worth the ethers that we're going to burn on him. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because, man, these, these fights in this cave have just been a pain in my butt. Especially whenever we fight those, uh, what are they called? The weirds? Wireds? Weirds? That it literally looks like it says weirds. All right, there's leather wrist there, leather wrist, leather wrist, and she's got a wrist now, so her defense goes up. So that's good. Yes, I am just doing an, an optimize just because I don't want to have to go part by part by part trying to figure this out. See, this is pushover. This is easy stuff now. This is <laughs> this is so easy now. It's like ridiculous. I'm not, it's like I'm not even worried about it anymore. It's like eh, whatever. Skadoosh. We are getting a hell of a lot of MP, or MP, do you hear me? XP. What am I see an MP for? Oh my god. Who made this place? I mean, I, I understand that it's cave, but... I mean, who... Wait a minute. What? Okay, there's a path. One of them looks easy, one of them looks hard. Um, I wonder which one's which. Now we follow the rule, we usually take the right path first. Uh, Vivi, hurry up or you'll be left behind. I... I'm coming. Vivi, it's good to have you alive again, man. It really is. Oh no! Good job, Vivi. Oh, Master Vivi, are you okay? God, what the hell? 
Look at the way he fell. A good job, Steiner, you bastard. Yo, Rusty, you're not all right, are you? <laughs> what happened to you guys? Hey, Rusty, move it or lose it. I think we just lost the Scarecrow and the Tin Man. Shit. Yeah, I made that reference. Wow. Get up. Ah, no use. Uh, Dorothy just went down, too. Oh, no. Garnet, not you, too. Well, wait a minute. If he's the only one left standing... Oh, crap. That means he's the t he's a scarecrow, isn't he? <laughs> if I only had a brain. Garnet, she's out cold. Shoot. I'm falling asleep. Okay. So what does this mean? What's that? What? What's that sound? It's the, uh, the bells of death. It came from over there. Is somebody there? Uh, and from this way? Am I going this way? Am I going that way? Am I going up? Didn't really specify where I'm going. What the hell is that? Why didn't you fall asleep? Oh, holy shit! What in the world is that thing? Black Waltz. No, oh, Black Waltz number one. That's his name. Black Waltz number one. Dude, you're like a. Are you like some kind of uh, typo negative? Throwaway, is that what that is? Black, 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 false number one. You should be dead by now. <laughs> Are you the one causing this blizzard? Oh my god, look at the size of this guy. <laughs> That's right. Oh shit. Am I really gonna have to fight him by myself? Dude, I don't want to fight this guy by myself. Oh, shit. I don't even know how my health is. How's my health? Ice Giant's Sea Lion, come before me! Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Go, Sea Lion! Oh, my God, he's... He's... He's, he's summoned a Pokemon! Um, should I just kill him? I should probably just kill him. Man, this is gonna suck, dude. I mean, Sedane really doesn't have anything on him that, other than just to attack. And this thing, they summon looks like he's got a damn predator mask on. What in the world is going on here? I wonder if I should be trying to steal from this guy. Try steal from this guy. Fuck that. <laughs> Screw you, asshole. Okay, so that's 292s. That's 184. I wonder what his, I wonder what his uh, HP is. I'm not looking at the book. I'm not looking at the book. You can't make me look at the book. I'm not looking at the book. They're, they're only hitting for a, around 20 at a time. Ugh, sea lion, kill him for me. Now I have to kill this thing. Oh shit. Of course I could use detect too. I do have detect on. Missed. Nice. Good job. I am so glad that I was able to get that miss. Because if I would have hit that guy and I would have killed him, I just that would have just ruined the whole day. Well, I hit him for a hundred, that wasn't so bad. Too bad he's hitting me for about thirty. the wing. It's about 24. Missed. Come on, Zidane. you got to be better than this, man. Of course, I think if I get one more hit, I'm going to get the uh, I'm gonna get the trance. Come on, give me the trance. Of course, if I was smart, and if I was thinking this through, 
I would have filled up his trance before I came in here. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, how about, um... No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I burned that elixir. I probably... I probably did that a little too hastily. See, look, his whole... His whole character changes. That's awesome. All right, let's destroy this bastard. Oh, that sucks that they actually use they actually used me using the the elixir as as an action in my uh, in my trance. Oh my god, now he's red. I don't know what that means? Tsunami. Oh, shit. Apparently now he has guard on. That's nice. It's good to know. Come on, Zidane, get him. There you go, you bastard. Wait, what's this? Oh, I was coming out of the trance. I was like, oh my god, what did he do? I can't believe I did that by myself. That was pretty cool. I didn't get any XP for it, though. Like a little bitch. Oh, isn't that great? I got my Phoenix down back. That's yeah, perfect. <laughs> I did get my high potion back, too, so that's a thing, too. You defeated number one, but number two and number three will reclaim the princess. Who's there? Yeah, no shit. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I've got to go back and check on them. Okay, what was it? The waterfall. Uh oh, who's this? Oh, it's Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Dumber. All their names. Ignook. <laughs> Zidane. Damn, Vivi knew how to climb that shit pretty well, didn't he? Hey there, everybody okay? You! What just happened? <laughs> it was no big deal. Bullshit, it was no big deal. You're hiding something. Hey, nothing happened. You heard me. You didn't touch the princess, did you? Uh... <laughs> I touched you. <laughs> just what are you accusing me of, sucker? Steiner, he said nothing happened. Why are you being so rude? My apologies, Princess. Well, I'm glad everyone is safe. Shall we move on? Yes, please, let's move on. Why not? Are we going this way or are we going that way? Zidane, is there something bothering you? Yeah, there's stuff coming after us. No, it's nothing. <laughs> it's just going to be that kind of shit that's going to get you killed. All right, so... What? What was in this one? Let's go find out. What's this? It's a Moogle. Huh? What's this? Whoa. Whew, hot, hot, hot! You bastards. <laughs> oh, I can move again. Thanks, Koopo. He actually said, you bastards. All right, teach me monster lesson two. Oh my god, not another one of these. Oh, my lord. Uh, hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. I don't want lots of neat stuff. I don't need not lots of neat stuff. I mean, we're, we're going over as it is. I'm going to give another interesting and very long lecture today. Uh, okay, well, at least there's only three here this time. Oh, my goodness. If you guys want to know what the rest of these are, there was another episode. I, we, we did two episodes of these damn things. <sighs> All right, status effects. Status refers to a character's condition. There are good status effects and bad status effects, so pay attention. We'll go over the bad status effects first. The following status effects go away when the battle is over. Battle status effects 1. Confuse. You lose control of your character. Berserk. Although strength increases, your character can only attack. Stop. The character cannot move. Poison. HP gradually decrease. Sleep. The character falls asleep and cannot move. And slow. The ATB gauge fills up slowly. 
and these all go away whenever the battle's over. Oh wait, there's more! Heat! It's heat. I've never heard of heat before. A terrible burn causes KO if the character takes any action. Whoa, what? Okay. Character becomes frozen and gets KO'd if physically attacked. Oh my god. Character shrinks, which reduces battle power and defense. We've seen that before, but heat and freeze I've never seen before. Now I'll discuss very bad status effects that don't go away after the battle's over. Like death. These effects are displayed in the main menu. Very bad status effects. One, petrified. The character becomes petrified and cannot move. Uh, Venom, MP, HP and MP gradually decrease. The character cannot move. Wow. Uh, virus, the character cannot gain e EXP or AP after battle because growth is stunted. That one has to suck. Holy smokes. Silence, the character cannot use magic. Darkness, the character's vision is impaired and physical attack accuracy decreases. Trouble, the damage one character receives transfers to other characters as well. That one has to suck too. And a zombie, healing items and magic cause damage to the character. Alright, enough of the bad stuff. Let's talk about the good status effects. Good status effects 1. Auto life. The character revives from KO automatically once during battle. That's nice. Regen. HP are gradually restored. That's another good one. A haste. ATP gauge fills up faster. If there's any way that I can get a permanent haste, I'm going to do it. Floats. The character floats and does not receive earth damage. And they actually also, I think, uh, if you're on float, you become harder to hit, period. Unless it's a ranged attack. I mean, that's just for monsters in general, of course. Uh, shell the damage from magic attacks decreases. Protect the damage from physical attacks decreases. Vanish. The character vanishes and cannot be hit by physical attacks. The character reappears if hit by magic. It reflects. Magic is reflected back at the caster. Some magic cannot be reflected. In addition to these, there are status effects known as Doom and Gradual Petrify. Remember this. If all your party members incur KO, stop, petrify, or venom during battle, it's game over. How do you get rid of venom? Because that sounds like the worst thing ever. Oh my god. Also, you won't receive EXP or AP if you're still under KO, petrify, virus, or zombie when the battle ends. That sucks too. Okay, elemental properties. There are a total of eight elemental properties. Fire, ice, thunder, earth, water, wind, holy, and shadow, and heart. Together with these forces, we form Captain Planet. Applying these elemental properties to your attacks and defense makes battle a lot easier, but your enemies can take advantage of them as well, so watch the hell out. To apply them, you have to understand their natures. Elemental properties. Fire is effective against ice and undead. Mm -hmm. Ice is effective against insects, large animals, or large enemies, and fire and dragon type monsters, right? Thunder is effective against water enemies near water. Earth is ineffective against flying monsters. Okay, I don't why didn't they just say Earth is effective against all ground based monsters? But in effect, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Water is effective against fire. Wind is effective against flying. Holy is effective against shadow. And shadow is effective against holy. In the long run, it seems like those are the only two that go together. Because, you know, it's like you would think that fire and ice would, would be the only two that go against each other. But, of course, water also puts out fire. Thunder hits water. Nothing really hits thunder that I know of. Uh, there's a whole... There was a whole thing in some other strategy guide I remember reading somewhere that told you what everything did. Uh, it was like a big circle graph and like everything kind of connected to everything else. You know, it was so weird. There, there is also a non-elemental property which is not affected by any elemental property. Did all that sink in? It's easy once you get the hang of it. Or if you've been spending 20-something years... No, 30-something years of your life playing Final Fantasy games like I have, it's kind of like it's ingrained into your head by now. 
Card Game. The official name of the card game is Tetra Master. Many people all over the world play Tetra Master. The only way to find out who plays is by challenging them. The Tetra Master players never back down from a challenge. To challenge people, walk up to them and press square. If you challenge a person who isn't a player, he or she will probably just talk to you. Okay, here are some basic rules. Uh, rules number one. Select five cards in your possession to play. Uh, one, put down a card by your opponent's card. If the arrow on your card points to your opponent's card, you can win his or her card. If the arrow on your card faces the arrow on your opponent's card, a card battle begins. So if two arrows are facing each other, then a card battle begins. If your card wins the card battle, you win the opponent's card. If your card loses, the opponent wins your card, which sucks, but it is what it is. If you have to battle two or more cards, you can choose the opponent's card that you want to battle. The game ends once all the cards are played, and the person with the, with the most cards wins. Uh, the winner gets to take the loser's cards. Tetra Master has other rules, but I won't get into them now. Just give it a try and figure them out for yourself, sucker. Is that it? Is that all we need to do? I'm tired of talking. I hate these things. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been around. You know how it is. Uh, so you can save and do all the other stuff too, can't you? What's a Magna? You got anything for me? Koopo, I'll tell you about Magna. I don't know if I want to... I just want to know if you got any mail. Magna is a mail delivery system between Moogles. We cannot send and receive letters to and from Moogles. Uh, we can send and receive. I don't know why cannot. I don't even know why I said that. Uh, Koopo. <laughs> the delivery has been very sporadic lately. Uh, hey, you got a letter from... You got to deliver a letter to Gumo for me. Koopo. Sure. If I find Gumo, I will. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here. This is a good place to stop. Let's, uh, let's use a tent. We have three tents because I kept stealing them from those one things. I might go down and, uh, fight those things some more. Because if I can steal tents, dude, that's great. And, and possibly more, uh, more, like, which my jiggers? Phoenix Downs? Jeez. Death potions? <laughs> uh, yeah, I might, uh, I might go do some more, uh, fighting after this. Maybe, you know, get some more levels. Vivi is still... Yeah, where is he at? Four levels down. Let's change the order. Why not? You know, let's get... Steiner and Zidane up here. Actually, let's put Steiner in the front, because it seems like they're... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they go for the people at the top or not. I like that better. I, I don't know. There's something about that I just like. I like that better. Unless we do... Uh... No. No, that's good. He's got more, though. They, they seem to attack who's ever at the top of the list. That's just what I see, is it just seems like they attack the person that's at the top of the list more than anybody else. And Steiner is our tank. Zidane is our, our, uh, one of our damage dealers. Vivi's our other damage dealer, and Garnet is our healer, so, you know. There you go. It is what it is. Uh, anyways, thank you guys very much for, uh, coming around, checking it out. Uh, as always, this has been, uh... Final Fantasy IX. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I've been Nicky with Kane. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe or don't. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. Uh, and until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. Go, uh, go fight some monsters. Get some EXP. You need it. You need it. Just saying. You need it. <laughs> Alright, people, I'll see you next time.